Hello fellow problem solvers, so today we're doing a problem from the Croatian team selection test from 2011. Day one, problem number two. I suggest you try this nice combinatorics problem out for a minimum of half an hour, ideally an hour to an hour and a half, though not more than two and a half, not more than three hours. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, give this a go for the next 10 minutes. And now without further ado, let's begin. So what do we have? Finally, many persons at a party, okay, some are friends, friendship is mutual. If I'm friends with you, then you're friends with me. So, what is that, what do we have, what is the big condition among any four of them, okay? There are three who were all friends with each other or three who weren't friends with each other. Okay, so it means, so this is how we can like generally talk about friendships, these people. Like, what are these people? There are dots. Like, we care about dots here. And some of these are friends. And if they are friends, then there's a line connecting the dots. So among any four group of people, we either have this sort of situation, with this having some relationship between these three, or we have a relationship such that there exist three, such that, what's it called, they aren't friends with each other at all. So now we need to show that we can separate these people into two groups. In one group, Everyone is friends with everyone. Yay! And in the other group, nobody is friends with anybody in that group. Okay, so how are we ever going to do this? All right, so let's so let's see. Okay, if there has to be like at least okay, somebody is friends with somebody else. Okay, so there are two people that can be like in this group. That's going to be like group A and group B. This is like the thinking here with this problem, like the thinking for me is not to play around with small cases for on the number of people, though that is certainly something we can do, like figure out that. But I want to go out with a more general sort of thing at the beginning. And the reason why is sort of when I have n, I don't know how many ways I can really have this problem condition hold. Maybe actually I could also do that. I can have like with four people, I either have this situation or I have a situation no one's friends with anybody, or I have a situation where this is the case, and, or a situation where this is the case, or a situation where everybody's friends with everybody and everybody's happy. Yay. And now when I add another person here, well, if I take these three people, if I take this person and any other people, I'm um, Good. But if this one's friends with somebody, then if I take the two of them, actually it still doesn't matter. I take these two, like they're still friends with everybody here. So there's a lot of there are a lot of different ways this can like happen. What happens when I add another person here? I can have these three people, and I think I might have a contradiction when I pick these four people. Like what does this force us? Like if these two aren't friends, then this person, this person need to be friends, or yeah, then these two people need to be friends. And then also these two people need to be friends. And then I can separate out like this will be one group and this guy is, or girl or whoever is in the other room. But okay, there's gonna be at least two people in this room, right? Or we're just done immediately. Now, say there are like some two people here in B, they're friends with each other. We want to move them to A, right? So what happens? Well, if I take if I take these two people and these two people, actually, wait a second. If what happens if there is no triangle? If I only have pairs, actually, let's see what happens. So like this is a situation we'll have here. So now with these four people, I cannot pick any two. If this is just like, if these two aren't friends and these two aren't friends and like, you know, if this one isn't friends with this one or this one, this one isn't friends with this one, this one, then we have a contradiction because we need friendship here and in life as well. So we either have that a person from here is friends with both of these dudes or dudas, or a person from here is friends with uh, both of these dudes and dudas. Now, in this case, we can, well, we can move this person here, these two here, move this one here. 
And in the other case, we can just like move this person here and have more people in this group. And now here's with this sort of like preliminary look where I invite you to pause for another 10, 15 minutes and try to push the problem. Further. And here's the next idea. So the idea here is I see that if I have people in A and I've my problem statement is not satisfied, I can sort of kind of uh, get to a position where I'm increasing the number of people in A. So then let me use the extremal principle, which says, well, let me make, there's a finite number of people. Let me make the A biggest possible. And I, this is sort of an, it goes towards like an optimal assumption sort of technique that when you have a problem, you're like, well, let me make this room the most friendly it can be. Like there is a finite, if there are M people at this party, there are how many? Uh, two to the N ways to like put them into these two rooms, I think. And of those two to the N ways, there is a valid way that like there are the most two to the N ways. And in one of those ways we have in this room, the most number of people and everybody are everybody's friends. So we can, we say we pick that example. We pick that configuration. We don't need to know what it is. We just say like, Hey, if it's there, if it's there, like it's there. And if, if this is always empty, then nobody's friends with anybody. If it has at least two people, then if the other one has at least two, we're done. So let's assume that like three or more people. Yay. So now what do we do? Well, now we can say, okay, let's assume that we are not done. What happens then? So what happens then is we have like these two people in B and we that are friends with each other and everybody's friends with everybody in room A. Now what do we do? Well, we can say, okay, let's pick two people from A, they're friends with each other, and these two people from B. Now by this condition, let's call these people, I don't know, let's call them person X and person Y. And let's pick these two people from A, let's call them person K and person L. Person L. So now what do we do? We say, when we take K, L, X, Y, we have one of two things is true. Either K is friends with both X and Y, like K is going to be friends now. Okay, now there's going to be some relationship between these two. We're going to need to have a triangle. And it's either going to be K friends with both of them. Uh, actually, friend, K is either friends with both of them or both of them are friends with X without loss of generality, right? Now let's look at a case when both of them are friends with X. What happens then? Well, I don't know. Let's take another person M. And now let's take now, if we take MLK X, it doesn't make any sense, like because MLK satisfies the conditions of the problem. So let's take MK XY. Now, what happens with here? If, if K and Y are, let's assume K and Y aren't friends, right? Boo hoo. K and Y aren't friends. I think we can assume that pretty much without. And there's a person here and he, they're not friends with the person Y because otherwise every person here is friends with both X and Y. And then we can just like put them both here. So let's assume K isn't friends with Y. Otherwise we'd have a bigger you know, room here of people that are all friends with each other, which is a contradiction. Now, if K isn't friends with Y and we have this K, X, Y, M. So if, if M is friends with M being friends with Y or not, doesn't change, like doesn't give us a triangle. The only way we can have a triangle here now, because Y and K aren't equal, aren't the same, is either both M, Y and M, X are friends, or yeah, it's either both M, Y and M, X are friends or M, X are friends. But in either case, we need to have and be friends with X. Now what happens? Well, now what happens is if I pick any other person with K, they'll need to be friends with X. 
and I'll have everybody from here is friends with X. Oh, we can have put X here. Done. I mean, it's a contradiction because we have then more people here and we took the maximum number of people here that are all friends with each other. Now pause for five, 10 minutes and take this in, take this in and take the problem further, take the problem further. And now here's the next step. So this means that if we have KL here and if K isn't friends with Y, but is friends with X, right, mind you, K is friends with X, K isn't friends with Y, then we get a contradiction quite quickly. So let's now assume that K is friends with both. Now, if K isn't friends with, is friends with X, but not with Y, I think it's now the same. Now we can have from there, if we have a situation where one of these people is friend to one but not the other, we get a contradiction. So for every single one of these, they're either friends with both of them or with none of them. Now let's take that K, let's say friends with X and Y. Yeah, let's take that. K is friends with X and Y, but L isn't friends with either X or Y. And now what happens? Well, now we take M, K, X, Y, doesn't go saying we have, we have K, X, Y. So eh, we don't use a problem condition anyway. But if we take L, M, X, Y, what do we have? L isn't friends with these. It's friends with this person. So this person needs to be friends with both X and Y for us to have a triangle, to have three people that all know each other. Now it means when we take anybody from here with L, we'll have that that person is friends with both X and Y. Now, where's the contradiction here? Well, the contradiction is, well, if we just placed X and Y here, put L here, the problem statement here would hold true. This would be like, this is called a clique, uh, where everybody's friends with everybody else. We would have a bigger clique here than we had, but extremal principle, we said we'd take the biggest one we can have, which is a contradiction. So that means that if we put the biggest clique, they can't, there cannot be two X and Y here that know each other. And that finishes up the problem because now, like these X and Y can know people here. And then this biggest clique here and everybody else you put in there and you're done with the problem. And I think, I think this is a cool little problem that you like. You're sort of seeing, okay, you, this is a local type of problem. Like you're doing a bit by bit. Okay, if I have this, done. if I don't, I have... Well, I can change people here. I do this and I do that, I do this and I do that. And like two cases really is a person from here. Every person from here is friends with both X and Y. Then you can like put them all in. And then every person from here, like there is a person from here that's friends with neither X nor Y. Then you get the switch. Then there's a person from here that's friends with X, but not with Y. You get, um, you get X can get in here, All right? So that finishes up our problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.